Welcome to Switch Corner, my name is Alex and today we're taking a look at my favourite deals across Switch eShops covering the US, Canada, UK, EU and Australia. Today I have 16 games for you all although a fair few region exclusives so hit subscribe, join us here on Switch Corner for reviews and deals near daily and let's get started. First up then, I missed Thursday's under $10 edition. I got married this week, took some time with the family, so I'll be making up for that with a bonus episode of Sunday. I'll be pinning that in the comments once it goes live. I also then have two $10 eShop gift cards to give away and two winners to announce later in the video. To enter that, all you need to do, drop a comment down below. Then finally, if you are grabbing anything, head to cornershop.gg for Switch eShop gift cards. I was able to secure that discount through the month of June, so enter code CORNER at checkout for 10% off, and that supports the channel directly. Crisis Remastered Trilogy then to kick us off, and we get a new low price here, 35% off. Now, as far as first person shooters go on the Switch, I think it's fair to call these some of the best on the system and this collection it's going to be a good option for those yet to jump in. While the first will always be my favourite then as well, the second and the third entry absolutely have their highlights. The first one it's more open world design as we first uncover this alien invasion, the second more linear through a destroyed and overrun New York and then the third one it combines that open and linear for a great conclusion with what is an epic bow as a weapon. They look great though and the tech at hand to go to war with it is a blast honestly as you have abilities like think super strength or invisibility. I reviewed all three entries though on the channel and they are below in the pinned comments. Jade Order then was a new release that I reviewed here on the channel, find that in the pinned comment below and it's currently rocking 30% off. It was super budget though to begin with. Now the idea here is it's combining almost think puzzle with strategy. It's a case of if you move, so do your enemies. Navigate these maps so light beacons and defeat what is the forces of evil. Many in the comments compared this one to Hitman Go, which I didn't really play myself, but I had a blast with this one and it's going to be well worth this tiny price point. Mundorn then is one of the few games today that's matching the low price will be 40% off. That is more than a fair price point and artistically, there's few games like it out there. Hand-drawn horror would be the best way kind of to describe this one, but yet it's first person in design. It has you exploring a smaller town in the Alps and you're investigating your grandfather's mysterious death in a fire. This one though, it's not simply exploration, but dashes of survival as well and puzzle gameplay. On the Switch, the lower resolution can make a few areas a little harder to make out, but it does very little to dampen the creativity found in this one. A shout out then to today's sponsor, Red Deer Games, who were kind enough to support this video with their latest release, Ellie Metal's Death Metal Deathmatch. And in typical Red Deer fashion, it's launching with a massive 69% discount. It's a multiplayer experience, this one. It's designed for two to four players in local multiplayer, and you'll be choosing one of six metalheads and going to war. In true multiplayer fashion though, it's designed for simple pick up and play moments and the idea here, of course, kill your opponents. Where it mixes things up however, it's in the 30 levels that each alter the rules just slightly. Think introducing obstacles such as lava that rises or traps or spears. It's definitely embracing that metal vibe then as well with a suitably heavy soundtrack, the challenge of headbanging when you run out of ammo, and finally if you do die you'll need to button mash to push death away. With each death though do expect that button mashing to become just a little bit harder until we do crown a victor. You can check it out right now on the eShop for those local multiplayer fans out there and you'll find the link to the eShop in the pinned comment down below. Neo First Trinity Edition then will be for the roguelike deck builder fans out there. This one it packs a anime spin to things with some really nice 3D visual design and it finds you traveling through portals across what is different universes. It's not got much in the way of story but the deck building here on display is solid. It's one of those experiences though where the first run it's simple enough but it keeps dialing up the challenge and addiction kicks in. 
Throw in then a 70 monsters, three playable characters with different styles, and a combination then of 300 cards and 100 skills, it's definitely going to be keeping you busy. There's a ton of unlockables and modes as well to find in here, and then it's a new low price, 80% off, and my video on this one is in the pinned comment down below. Resident Evil then has a huge amount of games on sale right now, all with new low prices. For the most part as well, I'd say they all have their place in anyone's collection. That said though, 5 was a declining point for me personally, and 6 is by far the weakest. Now naturally, they vary in file size install wise, but you'll find Resident Evil Zero an underappreciated gem, the original and 4 classics in my eyes, and then 5 and 6 with all new low prices, that is they are racking 50% off each. You can also then expect to see Revelations and its sequel on sale as well, although those two, they are matching the low price rather than a new low price. This, it's been no doubt timed to coincide with the announcement though of Village VR over on the State of Play as well as the remake of 4. Great games though, and this is a cheap way to get a lot of gameplay. Darius Burst, another Chronicle EX Plus, then gets a new low price, 60% off. I'm a big fan of this series, not so much the price point with this particular release, so it was just a little high in my opinion at launch to really attract anyone outside of its core fan base. The idea though, a side-scrolling shmup, and it's an update to what is an arcade classic, though not sure it got a Western release and I never played it myself. Think though here, new visuals, a new scenario, and a new shipped control. It's as challenging as you would expect from the genre though, and I'm for sure a fan of that new look. Clockwork Aquario then, it's one I grabbed on a previous sale, and now we get a new low price here with 40% off. This, it was an unfinished ROM that they dug up and kind of wrapped up. Now I wouldn't describe it as perfect, in fact I'd say this one a little rough around the edges. I even love the sprite work, but it shows its age and it's clunky if anything as platformers go. For me, it was just kind of the size of these sprites. It's a unique curiosity though from some time back. Some fun levels though, still a fun soundtrack and at least an attempt of making it complete. Think a gallery in here as well. But yeah, I wasn't disappointed, but I would say it's best going to be suited to those that love the genre and kind of as a reflection of how far platformers have now come. Green Howler then is for the survival fans out there, I reviewed this one on the channel, even featured it in my top survival games on the Nintendo Switch and both of those videos, they are in the pinned comment down below. It's definitely one of the tougher genre entries in my opinion though on the console. The idea though you enter a jungle you try to survive, packs a kind of straightforward survival mode, challenges as well, but my favourite in here by far it's gotta be that story mode. Story modes, in my opinion, in survival games, they just help those new to the genre, it gives you a purpose, and in this case your wife is off to interview a tribe, things go wrong and now you've got everything from wildlife to tribes members out to get you. Really dials up that difficulty though with the fact you need to not only craft a whole host of items including bases, but you can even expect specific body parts to get injured. It is a steal although this one 90% off a new low price and this is a ton of gameplay in here. Warhammer 40,000 Mechanicus then it hit the switch, I reviewed it, I was impressed and then a game breaking day one patch hit, which is, let's face it, for sure unfortunate, but it has done a great job since it got itself fixed up, and for me, it comes highly recommended. This one, it's a turn-based strategy entry in the 40,000 universe, which tasks you with controlling what is the most technologically advanced army in the Imperium. What I enjoyed with this one though, it's grid based and the war zones on display, they are small scale. It's perfect for the Switch screen, but it's still got a ton of depth from setting up your forces to an element where you choose almost dungeon direction and you'll face questions that will determine how you succeed. Think here, an enemy approaches, what do you do? Really entertaining in that sense and constantly making you feel involved. A new low price then, 70% off. Our first winner of the video then it's going to D Hibs who simply said thank you and I seriously appreciate the support. Congrats so Hibs, drop me an email to claim your code and everyone else, a second winner coming up here shortly in the video. 
Monster Hunter then gets a couple of juicy sales for those in the UK, EU and Australia. So first, Rise with 50% off and this action RPG, it is one of the most popular multiplayer experiences on the Switch. Sure you can play it solo but I'd say here, jump on with friends as you battle to take down these massive monsters, get rewards and then upgrade that equipment. There's going to be then a DLC expansion coming soon too which is no doubt an explanation for this discount and I suspect the US and Canada will see it soon. You can find my video review of this particular entry though in the pinned comment down below. Then we're getting Monster Hunter Stories 2 Wings of Ruin which is for sure a change of pace, a long awaited follow up to what is a turn based RPG entry and it's packing a much more like think cartoonish look. This one though you are a rider and you are out on a mission as the grandchild of what is a legendary rider. You'll accompany a girl although with an egg that could spell destruction. And yeah I jumped into this one late but really enjoyed it and it's a new low price 50% off. If you are maybe curious though about either of these Monster Hunter titles then I'd say check out the free demos available on the eShop right now. They both have one and that is always going to be a good thing. Our second winner of the week then, All A Talk Radio, who highlighted Ruiner Factory 5 and mentioned that the recent patch, it's helped with some of the moments of slowdown, they tended to occur when exiting different locations or maybe transitioning through load screens. I liked it a lot though, but congrats All A Talk, drop me an email to claim your code, and everyone else, drop a comment down below for your chance to win in next week's video. Shantae and the Seven Sirens then to close the video out and this it's the most recent release and it gets a new low price here 40% off. Now this one it is one of many currently on sale in the series but it is just as good as always. One of my favourite characters from recent memory on this one I reviewed it on the channel you'll find that video in the pinned comment down below. As always though this one it's a Metroidvania and the new spin here the ability to use fusion magic and transform into new creatures. It packs the usual high quality combat platforming music and belly dancing but this it's a new level for the animations and the cutscenes. Definitely comes highly recommended though from me as does the rest of the series. And that is another week down expect a bonus video on Sunday that's going to focus on those deals coming in under $10 or your local currency and then Remember to head to cornershop.gg if you do intend to pick anything up, you'll be getting 10% off at checkout with code CORNER. The channel then it gets a small kickback as well so it directly supports me. With that then a shout out to the patrons of the channel who are going above and beyond to support Switch Corner. It helps more than you know so thank you all so much. Then hit subscribe, join us here on Switch Corner for reviews and deals near daily and I'll see you all on the next video. Thanks everyone.